What is up YouTube? How y'all doing today? Welcome back to another video. Today we'll be reacting to Sad by XX Tentacion, the music video that just dropped. I'm kinda late because I, I was at work, but I saved this for you guys. I have a lot to say, but I'm gonna say it all at the end of the video. I have not seen it yet. The stuff I have to say is about different stuff, but it is related. It's obviously about X. And um Yeah, let's let's let, let's get into it. And by the way, it's number one on trending. That's, that's freaking crazy. Like, that's, congratulations, X. Wish you were still here. Alright, guys, I'm nervous as hell. But, without further ado. <sighs> Directed by JMP. Hello. Whose eyes are those? My name is Gekyo. Oh, what? Okay. Sees what he's doing. What is your name? My name is Xavier. I am 20 years old. Dude, I'm already about to fucking cry. Now, why do you hate? I don't. What is your blood type? I don't know. <sighs> Birth, time, and place. I don't know the time, but Loma Linda. Here is your warning and your soul's demand by perceiving this video. If you're watching, you're subject to sentiment, be creative, or wishes. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Uh, you are now in my world and a piece of consciousness. Okay, okay. Sorry, I can't read. Here's my demand. You will spread love throughout the world, praise and joy unto my name, and change the overall cycle of energy we are digesting. The world is in need of change. Humans must learn to love and compromise rather than destroy. That's facts. Blessing being upon those who have come to this visual presentation with good energy and love rather than malice. 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 And those with negative intent, thank you. Your energy can be transmuted in the amount of time that you've taken to give your energy. The world will soon be more loving. You're his eyes. His beautiful eyes. The woman. The clock. The hand clock. I gave her everything she took my heart and left me lonely. Hold on. I was showing off my tattoo. Let me stop. I gave her everything she took my heart and left me lonely. I've been broken hearts and tensions. I want to get this shit. They do not understand you. Do you not fear? Your worst enemy is yourself, and you seem unbothered. Though you cannot pretend you have walked through life unscratched. It is your memories that hold you to the person that you were. To the amount of light you can become. You must understand the power of your mind.
What does that say? All oh, the papers flew away. You have done well by bat battling yourself. Your demon seems to honor your efforts. Are you satisfied? Long live X. Long live Prince X. Alright, so now for the stuff that I wanted to say. So, first off, Rest in peace and long live X. I freaking miss him. And at the beginning of this video, I almost did cry when they when he asked, "Why are you watching this video?" Um, but I'm not trying to get into that. I don't want to cry. It's okay to cry. If you have to cry, let it out. Don't hurt yourself over his death. Um, be strong. You gotta be strong, all right. But anyways, now here's here's a couple things. I'm gonna start with the things that. Uh, let's talk about the music video since. So, I really like the music video a lot. It shows that the message of the vi music video is pretty much saying you're, you fight, he's pre so in the video he's fighting his past. And in the video he's preaching positivity. And what I really like is how, this is his second music video, okay? The first music video was two different songs, all right? Now, the reason why it was the Look At Me music video, because that was his most popular song. That's what he was known for. And in that video, okay, yeah, he did a music video for Look At Me, uh, partially, but then the song Riot came on, and he started speaking and preaching and, and um, giving out a message, okay? And his second music video, this one right here that we just watched, he... His most popular song right now is Sad. He used that, made a music video for it, but the music video is not about Sad. The song, the music video is for a message. So literally what he's doing, he's making music, the most popular music he gets, he makes a music video for, because he knows a lot of people are gonna watch it, obviously because it's the most popular song, and with that being said, the more people that watch it, the more people that will get his message. See, he doesn't care about trying to make like a, he doesn't care about making a music video for a certain song. He cares about his making a music video that has a message. He's not, like every rapper, majority rappers, 99% of rappers, 98% of rappers make music videos to flex their money, to show off their song and dance along to their own song. And then there's that 2%, that 2% that actually have, make their music video have a message behind it. Like, like for example, X. But nobody's ever done it like how X does it. So that's, it's crazy. It's unique. I love it. I, I really, I really admire that. Like, that's really, I like how he did that. Um, but now I want to talk about things that piss me off. First off, we don't know if he's guilty for abusing his pregnant ex. I believe him. I believe he didn't do it because I know how females are. Um, it's all over the media. You every, I mean, you guys seen what Tup uh, that girl did to Tupac? Tupac got locked up for raping a girl. He didn't rape that girl. Dude has money. She just wants money. That's it. It's all a scheme for money. See, if Geneva X's ex. Really got abused by X? She wanted to open up a GoFundMe, trying to raise money. That's how you know. That just that sh that shows you. But a lot of people are so what simple-minded, and they don't think, or they think they think, but they're not really thinking. They're not using their full brain, or I don't know what it is. But some people are just so 
I just I can't explain, but it, it pisses me off. But I mean, then again, we the real people we know the truth. We know that X didn't hurt her. Oh, she hurt him. He loved that girl. He in his music he's saying how much he loved her. You can't beat someone you love. It doesn't work like that. If you genuinely love them, you don't beat them. But um, has he ever laid a hand on her? Maybe he did. People get angry. People do things out of anger. But as for him, like completely beating her and making her look the way she looked, I don't believe it. So it just it's dumb that people bash on him and say, "Oh yeah, you deserve to be dead," and this, this, and that. And then another thing that pisses me off is, "Oh, I wish it was six nine that was dead." Oh, this I was just I wish this person stop. Stop! We shouldn't be wishing death on anybody. At all. Like, that's... That's retarded. And then, finally... People are making merch and tribute and selling it... To, uh, in tribute of X. Like, making clothes and stuff like that. Which, before you, you start commenting, Oh my god, why can't people sell clothes that listen to the representation of X? Listen. This is my problem. You guys that are making clothes off of X's death from him dying you are wrong not for making clothes but because you are making money off of it obviously you can't do it for free I understand that but where is that money going in your pockets I have not seen one person one person out of everybody and I have an Instagram page that's kind of popular so people are hitting me up oh can you can you promote my stuff this this, and that da, 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 da. you guys are making money off of his death and that money is going to put into your pockets for stuff that you want to buy or make you're making you're making a portion of your money back from the clothes you made and then some and that and then some that you're making is going to you that's not right where that money should be going is to charity because if you really fucked with X like that that's what you do. The only people that should be making money off of his stuff is his family. As any clothes that they're selling, which which is the bad clothes that they're going to be selling, not bad, like the bad brand the clothes that they're going to be selling, that, that should be it. And if people are going to be selling clothes, in my opinion, I believe that all that money should go to charity or to good things not personal good things or personal mm -mm, mm -mm. that's my problem I don't care that people are selling shirts my thing is you're making money off of this dude and he died and all of a sudden you want to make clothes shirts and and then keep it keep the money for yourself do something good and donate it all to charity everything should go to charity because what did X, what was X's biggest preaching? What was his biggest thing? Helping the world. And you could help the world. But no, instead you're making money. I don't, I don't know. It's my opinion. It's my opinion. Th that, this is my opinion. So, I, those are some things I just want to say. But the music video was really good. I love the message. It's pretty much battling his old self. His old memories. His past. And changing into a better person. Which he has. He changed into an amazing person. And unfortunately, he was taken away. And everybody's like, oh, why do legends die? Why do legends die? This is that. Legends don't die. They fly. So. Thank you for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. And I guess the little rant at the end. But I really enjoyed the sad music video. <laughs> I almost cried in the beginning but I, I came myself together anyways guys thank you all so much for watching and long live Jose Dwayne Onfroy or Dwayne Ricardo Onfroy thank you for everything that you've done X and uh, I'll see you soon Peace.